Hey everybody, Lee Goldstein here for 10 Minute Trades. I want to welcome you to our weekly wrap up. Instead of doing our usual trade of the week and members trade of the week, we had such an excellent week and an interesting week. I thought I would do things differently this week. So relax and sit back and let me show you a whole bunch of trades from us, our members, and the market. Please don't forget that our results may not be your results. You can lose money trading futures. These presentations for educational purposes, but please learn and enjoy and you can become a successful trader as well. So I thought it might be appropriate to show you all our weekly schedule from this past week and explain what happened. And then I have some special videos that I want to show you. This was one of the busiest weeks in the history of this company. I've been here for seven years, even longer. I've never seen a week this busy ever. Glasses are crooked. I can't get my glasses straight. There we go. So let's start out Monday. We met in the trade room 6.30 in the morning. We had an excellent McDonald's earnings trade. Everyone in the room who traded it won it. Spanish Flash CPI, that was a trade we were just watching, so it doesn't have a win or a loss. Procter & Gamble earnings was a winner in the trade room. CB Consumer Confidence, I had a platform problem. I did not trade it, but members in the room had profits. Pinterest earnings, there was no event. There just nothing really happened. And Microsoft earnings on Tuesday, I lost money. A few members made money. Sometimes you can have a setup where some people make money, some people lose money. So that was a mixed setup. It was a little bit of both. AMD was a small winner. And also on Tuesday, the API crude oil report was a rare stop out. We've had seven, eight winners in a row on that report, and it did not work on Tuesday. Australia CPI, I'll show you the video soon. That was a wonderful winner. And then Chinese manufacturing, was a tiny winner, just a couple of ticks. We were just watching the European CPI and Humana earnings, but on Wednesday we got in the room at seven for Boeing and it was a very nice winner. The ADP report, now this is interesting. Full transparency, we had two different setups. A gold breakout, that was a loser, and a gold trap trade. My recommendation, my recommendation in the trade room was not to trade the gold breakout and to trade the trap trade. The trap trade kept everybody safe. There was no fill, but the gold setup was a stop. So, but keep in mind, one of the reasons people pay to come into our room is for advice, for ideas. And I did not think trading the gold breakout has been working well as of late, and I recommend it against it. The employment cost index was a small stop. Un unfortunately, we just didn't get a good fill. Um, I have a lot of optimism for that report in the future. Canada GDP, tiny one or two tick winner on the trap trade setup. Most people didn't really trade it because they were busy with the employment cost index. Chicago PMI on Wednesday, we canceled the trade. Did not seem like it was a good opportunity. Gold was very, very, very bullish that day and it turned out to be a very smart decision. There was no impact, there was no move. Pending home sales, not really a trade that we normally take, but we had a setup for it, tiny winner. Crude oil inventories, if you took the DMM, our daily trade report, it was a very nice winner. The FOMC statement, the highest risk trade of the week, clearly we recommend that most people don't trade that event I did trade it in my prop account and I did lose money in my prop account on the FOMC statement. That has been my most difficult trade in the history of my life. Um, last month we made money. This month it damaged my Buell Knox account. And then we got Qualcomm and Meta and Qualcomm was a nice winner. Difficult to trade because they released their earnings seconds after the close. Meta was an excellent winning trade, and you'll see. Kaishin Manufacturing, we did not have a trade room on Wednesday. Excellent winner, and we were back in the room 
eight o'clock for unemployment claims and non-farm productivity. That was a loser on the NQ and it was a winner on gold. That's an event that I don't recommend trading it, but we do know that people do trade it. So again, full transparency. The NQ setup did not work. The gold setup worked rather well. If you got up and traded our setup on the Bank of England, that was a one target strong winner. It was like a target and a half. So it was a decent trade. ISM manufacturing, small winner. Hit target one and reversed. Natural gas storage, I would call natural gas storage mixed. Not a regular trade that we trade live or in our prop accounts, but it looked like a great winner, but people in the room seemed to struggle with their fills. So full transparency, I'm calling it mixed at best because I do think in a cash account, some people would have won, but there were definite issues for some traders. Amazon Intel, excellent, excellent winning trade. Snap, no event. Uh, Coinbase, we didn't pay attention to it. Apple was a terrible loser for most people. It was a bad whipsaw. Very unfortunate, probably the worst trade of the week. And then we ended the week in fantastic fashion. So many people made money on the jobs report, non-farm employment. I'll show you some videos. Member after member made money. It was an excellent way to end the week. And you can see many, many winning trades this week. And it's the reason why we invite people into our trade room. And it's a great time to become a pro member. So let me show you some of the events, some of the real trades, so you can get a real idea of what the week was like. We absolutely love our earning trades that we have in the morning. McDonald's was one of them. It's a nice early trade, but not too early, seven o'clock in the morning. We create a range with our software. It's a range trade and the earnings come out at seven o'clock. They're very reliable. We're trading live real money. You're going to see the price is going to shoot down, hit both my targets. Trades over. Very nice winning trade. That was McDonald's. Great way to start the week with a nice winner. It gives you great confidence. It lets you face the week feeling optimistic. Australia CPI was trading with some Chinese news, which is very unusual. I'd never seen that before. The Australia trade, we do have a setup. It has not been a great performer. It hasn't been horrible, but we know that it is a difficult event to trade. It has usually quite a bit of slippage, liquidity problems, but I felt it was worth the risk this evening because I just thought it was going to be a good solid trade. The market was due for a good solid trade and it was, it had slippage, but it had such a strong move. It exploded through the slippage. And again, everybody in the room that traded that report had a very nice winning trade. So very happy about Australia CPI. I don't know what you can say about Boeing. There's not a lot of really great press surrounding the company. Lots of problems. I knew in my heart that Boeing earnings would be short, that they would be fast, that it would be a good move, and there would be a profit in Boeing. And that's exactly what happened. All right, time is passing. It's Wednesday. We're in the room for Meta and Qualcomm. Qualcomm was the first move, and then Meta, our orders go on the chart. We know when to put our orders on the chart. Big explosion in price, way up, way up, way up. Over an $800 profitable trade. Lots and lots of members in the room made money. Excellent, excellent trade. Very happy to have traded Meta. Another great earnings trade. If you don't know it, we devised the system for trading futures on selected stock earnings. We first started doing the uh, FANG stocks, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google, and we've now expanded into many, many other companies that we trade futures on the earnings. It's a great system. It's one of the best things we do at 10 minute trades. Now the Bank of England had an excellent move. We did not have a trade room for it, but you could see our setup shot down, easily hit the first target, and then it never challenges the stop. 
meaning you could have stayed in the trade. It almost scared you there, went back up. But then as long as you just stayed in the trade for a few minutes, it gave you more opportunity to get profit. The price kept going down, but at a minimum, it was a target one winner. So the BOE, a winner if you took that trade. Now, Amazon and Intel have not traded together often. We had about five instances over the past couple of years that they have traded together. We did our research, we did our homework, and you can see we had an awesome trade, over $1,200. I just want to remind everyone, not everybody's results would be the same as ours. Just keep in mind that this is for educational purposes and it's possible to lose money trading futures. But look at this trade that we had. It was fabulous. And we do the studying. We put in the time. The price shot down. The market actually, the charts actually froze for a second. And then they continued down. And we had an excellent profit, as I said, over $1,200. A great trade. Look at that reversal. Those are extra opportunities after the news. We're teaching our members to trade after the news now. Lots of opportunities at 10 minute trades. But Amazon, very, very nice trade with Intel, a big winner. Our final event of the week, and you could see it really was a good week, the US jobs report, affectionately known as NFP, non-farm payrolls. If you remember last month, we made over $2,000 on that trade. I could show you the video. Let me bring back, jolt your memory a little bit. Here's last month's non-farm payroll. Clearly it was our trade of the week. We had our setup. We were trading gold for the first time in about six months. The price really burst down more than a hundred ticks. The market gave us about 50 to 100 ticks of positive slippage, meaning extra profit because the move was so fast. By the time it got out, we had, like I said, a $2,250 trade. That was last month's NFP. Now that's a trade. When you look at the daily trade report, look, there was six winners in a row on gold. And that's only one DMM report covering six months. If we show previous DMM reports, we had about 12 out of 13 winners on the US jobs report. You have to trade that report. You just have to trade it because it's been performing so well. That's what we teach everybody. Trade the best performing events. That's what we did. Watch what happens. We get to the time of the trade right there. Look at the candle that bursts up. Let me show it a little bit better. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to line these fast moving trades up. That's our DMM, our daily trade report. On the left is the actual way that we actually traded it. That's how we entered the data into our software. This is what the market looked like three seconds before the news was released. An explosion to the upside in price. We had over $600 in profit in a nanosecond. The news was awful. Only 114,000 jobs were created. They were expecting 175,000. Maybe the Fed has slowed things down too much, but we don't care about that. We just wanted that explosive move in one direction. That's how we get our profit. But the beauty of it is not how did we do at 10 minute trades. It's how our members did. Let me bring in some screens. Our trade room chat. After that trade, David K, 1300 in his prop account. Doc, 2800 trading gold and the euro. Adam, his first day back in the room, $812 profit. Let me show, I'll show you that screen. And Ravi, $1,540 on gold in his prop account. Mauricio, $1,160 on gold, $345 on bonds. An amazing trade, folks. Uh, just an amazing trade. Even more, 
Ravi, $12.99 gold with his Buell Knox rhythmic account. And then Adam, here's Adam Frank, $705 on gold. Just a continuing cavalcade of winners. More and more and more. Let me show you Adam's $800 screen. Adam's first day back in the room, $810. What a way to start. Ravi's $1,900 profit screenshot using Apex and the Trade of Aid data feed. And here's one of the most fun emails that I received a video from Doc. His live trade, trading the ES, sorry, the Euro 6E on the right, gold on the left, non farm payrolls. He made over $2,800. Gold shoots up on the left, hits both his targets. You can see over 65 ticks, 85 ticks on that side. And then his Euro trade well over 40 ticks on the euro multiple contracts and when all was said and done for doc thank you doc so much for sending us your video when he was done doc had an excellent excellent trade twenty nine hundred dollars in profits trading in his apex account folks yes you can do this in a prop account so thanks everyone for watching once again, a reminder, look at all the green on those events. Keep an eye on this email because I'll put a little note in the email with a link so you can join with us and become a pro member. My whole point here was not to sell, 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 but why would you not want to join with us and learn how to do this? I want to teach you how to do it. So I'll put a link in the weekly video, the weekend video that you'll receive. And I hope you enjoyed watching this one as much as I enjoyed making it. Lee Goldstein here for 10 Minute Trades, and I'll see you on the inside in the trade room next week. Take care, everyone. Hope you're having a great weekend.